So, just to give you guys a little bit of preamble as to what this video is about. Um, if you guys have followed some of my videos, you'll know that I've done some Foundry stuff. And in particular, I am working on a number of cast aluminum carburetor adapters for my draw-through turbo setup on the Plymouth Valiant. My original prototype, uh, which I followed on the channel, was done with uh, e uh, extruded polystyrene foam glued together and used in a lost foam casting process. And that's one where the molten metal is poured into a mold that is made of a piece of styrofoam surrounded by sand. And the aluminum takes the shape of the cavity left by the foam. And the, the heat from the molten metal vaporizes the foam ahead of it. And you're left with a copy of whatever it is you put into the sand made out of foam. Now, making that first one took quite a while. Uh, probably six hours, maybe, working on it. And I had the idea of that I wanted to make a lot of these, uh, dozens, possibly to provide to friends, maybe subscribers, uh, maybe sell them, I don't know. And a few options came to my mind. Uh, I was going to try the stuff like Great Stuff, that polyurethane foam that is a two-part chemical and it expands. That uh, you'll see in that in this video that that did not work and as I found out later it would not work. Um, that stuff does not burn out ahead of the molten metal as it would otherwise. The other part of the other option that I had was to mold it the way that you mold regular polystyrene. The, the basic principle of it is you pour these unexpanded beads of polystyrene mixed with pentane into a aluminum mold and then inject steam which melts the polystyrene and boils the pentane which expands the beads to fill the space. So my idea was I can get just the beads, though they've been expanded, and I thought there might be a little bit of pentane left in them, so they may expand a little bit if I blasted them with steam again. And this is that. This is testing that process. The plan, of course, being to make a fiberglass mold of my original casting and putting these beads in it and feeding it steam in order to make it happen. The problem is uh, I did not have much success and so I ended up just t uh, scrapping it and making it out of, of extruded styrene foam after all. But this is uh, my adventures, so stay tuned, so enjoy. On this episode of Deranged Cooking, we are going to use a soda can and we are going to make some styrofoam. Step one, our cooking apparatus needs to be punched full of holes. Next up, window screen. And then of course, screen across the top. Next, install styrofoam. Steam! Right. Let's give it a minute. Fuck. Alright, let's uh, give it a minute. Okay, I let it go five minutes. Industrial cycle times on these are normally about one minute to 90 seconds, so... Let's see. No idea. Let's let it cool. Ooh, yeah.
Check it out. It's not completely fused. Like, it's not super great. But this is definitely a start. Okay, so the ones towards the center are not quite as well fused. I might need to go a little bit hotter than just uh, boiling in a pot. So next is going to be the pressure canner. All right, so had a fitting. Focus. There. I had a, had a fitting. Uh, drilled some holes in it here. Uh, I'm going to do another one. Drilled a hole in the bottom of this. This is going to go in here like that, and that is going to, it's not going to thread. I have a, uh, a little slip in here. I'm going to use a pressure cooker uh, in order to generate the steam and a flow of steam in order to try and set these uh, uh, beads a little better. Now, just a note of safety. Um, don't use a threaded fitting. Nothing that's, nothing that can actually bite into this because this is a boiler you do not fuck with a boiler uh because otherwise it is a bomb and it will blow a hole in your house uh look it up you'll see some uh, pretty impressive shit so uh yeah do not fuck around with these but uh yeah we're gonna try it this way all right Now this, I can actually watch it. I can see if these uh, beads expand or not. If they expand and fill nicely or if it's going to be a pain. You can kind of see it. They've expanded out a little bit. We'll see. Okay, about uh, 10 minutes of steam. Let this uh, start to cool off. Okay, that is a much better, much denser product. I think I have a process here. <laughs> okay, so this is the casting. I hit it with some Bondo to kind of smooth out, uh, smooth out the corners a little bit. I'm not super concerned with getting it real nice, but uh, and then I squirted it with some paint. Uh, filled the center of it with uh, Mold Star 15 silicone and uh, made a little bit of a riser here and a little bit of a protrusion. Well, there was a protrusion here, but I need to make it a little bigger. And now, with this all smoothed out like this, I'm going to make a fiberglass mold of this uh, into which I am going to. Um, mold foam in order to make two more of these for the Valiant. Alright, first half. Wish me luck. Mmm, fiberglass. Bondo glass. And more fiberglass. We'll see if this mold doesn't just fall apart. I hope not. Well, damn, I'm just learning all kinds of stuff. So, apparently, uh... Polyester fiberglass resin dissolves polystyrene foam. So I'm, uh, I'm glad I didn't make my master out of this. That would have uh, ended badly. All right, I've got a fiberglass mold. Need some cleaning up, but uh, it's a start. Mm, nope. That's a nope. This uh, didn't fill, stuck where it shouldn't have, fell apart. Yeah. 
silly on you. So my attempts to cast and mold the other uh, the piece I did a couple weeks ago uh, has led to a couple weeks of failures. So I'm gonna do something that I know is gonna work. So I've built myself a ridiculously oversized hot wire foam cutter. Got a little piece of wire there, and I've got my power supply. Very very ghetto rigging, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. I've tested it. It works. It hot wires. It foams. Let's go. Carving profiles in foam. Wood spade bit. Ground to a round with a little bit of a back cut on it. And then extremely danger. It's actually not hard to follow a line like that. So, I know it's been a while, but I've been iterating my design. This was my first. Uh, the inside of it still kind of rough. Then I did it this way. Put together a little different. A lot better. And of course, third time comes out even better. Uh, I gotta make the flange for this one. But uh, I think these two are the ones that I'm actually going to use on the uh, Valiant. This one I'm just going to, I'm still going to pour this in aluminum. I'm going to keep it around. I might do a slant six or some other uh, silliness like that. So uh, stay tuned for that.